in this class we shall uh, study about the stationary or the standing waves and also do analytical treatment on a string fixed at other end that is where one boundary is uh, rigid and the other is free now what are stationary waves or the standing waves as from the name itself it is clear that the stationary or the standing waves are those waves which do not move in these kinds of waves the energy as in the case of the progressive wave is not transferred in the case of progressive wave the energy is transferred from one point to another in the case of the stationary or the standing waves energy is not transformed now when two identical waves moving in opposite direction superimpose then they form standing or the stationary waves these waves can be formed in uh, longitudinal waves or in uh, transverse waves as well now when a wave in a string or an organ pipe gets reflected from the other end and the same wave superimposes on reflection on the incident wave the standing waves are formed in this kinds of waves the particles as in the case of the plane progressive wave they what they do they follow successively the path of the previous particle but in this case in the standing or the stationary wave the some particles are permanently at rest at any instant of time so these points where there is no displacement are called nodes and there are points or there are particles which are having highest or the maximum displacement and maximum velocities these points are called antinodes with the standing or the stationary waves we have to remember that the standing and the stationary waves are formed in a bound medium where in the medium there is or there are some boundaries they will be formed only in a bound medium and here in this case we will talk about a linear bound medium but that is an one dimensional medium uh uh this stationary waves are also formed in two dimensional or three dimensional mediums as well another important thing is that for getting points of nodes and anti nodes not all the frequencies will give these points of nodes and anti nodes there are only certain frequencies which will give the points of nodes and anti nodes and these frequencies where uh, the points of nodes and anti nodes are formed are called the natural frequencies again uh, i tell you in stationary waves the energy is confined to the point of superposition of the two waves and it is unlike the progressive waves where the energy is being transferred from one point to another now uh, to understand this uh, stationary waves fixed at both ends and fixed at one end uh, we'll see an illustration let us see the illustration of uh, the standing waves and uh, here is a simulation which i have uh, taken from a wonderful website called fit and uh, there are uh, lots of uh, simulations in that website and you can uh, visit the website and uh, 
do these illustration simulations on your own and uh, you will be benefited by doing that. Now here is illustration and uh, here is a fixed end. Here the end is fixed at this point and at this end there will be uh, pulses provided. Uh, it will be moved up and down for the wave. As already mentioned, uh, standing wave will be formed in a bound medium, a medium which has certain boundaries. In this case, the other end is fixed. Here you can see it is fixed. And this end it will be taken up and down to provide the oscillations or to provide the pulse. So there will be a wave or a pulse generated and then it will go there and there will be reflection from this side the fixed end will come back and uh, superimpose with the uh, original wave and standing waves will be formed. Now let us see, uh, let us keep a pulse like this. So let us uh, increase the amplitude like this. Now let us give a pulse. You can see it is going there. There is a reflection here and it is the pulse is coming back. But also you can see there is a phase change of pi. There is uh, the pulse is getting inverted at the point of reflection also here it is again inverted it is here and uh, here the pulse is getting reflected and it is getting a phase change of pi or the pulse is being inverted at the fixed ends now let us uh, oscillate it and let us see how the wave is formed and how we find nodes and anti-nodes. Nodes are those points where there is no displacement and anti-nodes are those points where there is the maximum displacement. Nodes will be those points where there is no displacement at uh, any time. Uh, but, uh, at any uh, time or at all the times there will be no displacement. So let us uh, now there is oscillation and, 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 and not for all uh, frequencies there will be uh, formation of nodes and anti nodes. So let us pause it now. Uh, we shall keep the amplitude to a very low level. Right. And not every frequency will give nodes and anti nodes. Uh, I have already uh, tried with this one and already found out this at 0 0.40 hertz for this one. Actually, this will depend upon the, uh, the velocity of the wave and uh, the length of the wave. And again, the velocity will depend upon the, the tension and the mass per unit length. And uh, all those factors will uh, uh, give the required frequency for getting a node or more than one node. C. Let us run it. Right. This one is the case for the fixed end. And you can see there is a node here. This is not moving and as it is fixed, it is obvious that there is a node here. And uh, there is an anti-node here. For this one, there are two nodes 
which is half the wavelength apart. If this is the length of the string, then this is the half the wavelength. Like if it is like this, it is from here to here and then from here will give you the total wavelength. So this is the half wavelength and uh, the two nodal points are uh, half wavelength or if wavelength is uh, given the symbol lambda then they are lambda by two apart and uh, the point here uh, as you can see it is the point of maximum displacement and it is the anti-node there are other points which are also having displacements some lesser displacement than the displacement at this point. This point is again I uh, tell you is the anti node and this is a node here and this is another node here. Now let us uh, increase the frequency in this case this one was the uh, fundamental frequency and uh, Twice the fundamental frequency will again give some points of nodes and anti nodes, and this will be called the first overtone. Let's see. Here it is. You can see there is a node here, and there is a node here, and also there is a node here. So uh, these nodes are again separated by lambda by 2. Now for this case this length of the string is the wavelength. So here it is lambda by 2 and this is the separation between the nodes are lambda by 2. There are three nodes here. One here, one here and one here. And there is an anti-node here and also there is an anti-node here. Now let us again increase the frequency to three times the fundamental frequency that is keep at 1.20 hertz now see what happens right uh, here you can see there are one two three four there are four nodes so if the length of the string is L here then uh, the length is equal to this is one wavelength and this is half wavelength so the length in this case is equal to 3 by 2 lambda or 3 by 2 of the wavelength again four nodes are found here, here, here and here. You can see the nodes are lambda by two apart and these are the points of anti nodes where the displacement is maximum. Here we have kept the damping to uh, least or there is no damping here and we have kept the tension to the highest level for achieving this kind of nodes and anti nodes. Now let us pause it and uh, next we shall uh, see what happens if the other end is loose. Now here is the loose end, here the, uh, the string is uh, free to move up and down through this rod like structure so it's not uh, completely free as you can see there is a, a, it is sort of a partially free we can say and there will be some reflection or something like that due to this one and these are uh, 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 the one in free is this type of uh, things uh, this type of uh, 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 this will not be found in uh, uh, strings this will be mostly found in uh, uh, 
something like uh, some organ pipes when there is uh, one end is free and uh, other one end is closed and other end is uh, open so it will be found in some sort of musical instruments like flute and something like that so uh, let us uh, first start with a pulse and let us see what happens and uh, for that we have to increase this amplitude to some higher levels let it be like this right now if you provide a pulse see now in this case there is a it is going to this point and there is some sort of reflection it is coming back here at the loose end there is a no phase change and uh, it is uh, coming back with the same phase but at this fixed end the phase as you can see is getting uh, a change of pi or the pulse is being uh, inverted so at this free end there is no phase change and at this fixed end there is a phase change of pi so reflection at fixed end will give a phase change of pi and uh, reflection where there is uh, the end is free there is no phase change or no inversal of pulse now let us see what happens in oscillations so was it and let us go for oscillation let us decrease the amplitude like this and again as i told you not every frequency will give you nodes and anti nodes you will have to select the frequencies i have already done it previously so i know about 0.20 hertz you get a fundamental frequency so let us start it in this case for the case of the other end being free so right so you can see there is a, a node here and a anti node here here the displacement is maximum and here at this point there is no deflection now let us uh, increase the frequency in this case the this one was a fundamental frequency and the first overtone will be achieved at about the three times of this frequency that is the fundamental frequency that is at about 0.60 hertz let us see right Here you can see this is the point of uh, nodes. Here is the first node, and here is the second node. So this is uh, if this is the length total length is L, then this point is. Uh, uh how much uh 2/3 of the length and uh, in terms of wavelength it is at uh, half of the wavelength it is at lambda by 2 now again uh let us uh, was it and uh, uh next if we increase this to five times that is at 1 hertz then again we will get some nodes and anti nodes as you can see this is uh, a node here and somewhere here there is an anti no uh, node again and in between there is this points of anti nodes and uh, again there is a you can see there is a node here somewhere here and this is again anti node the point of highest displacement now if we 
increase this to four times that is at about uh, this uh, which we showed here was the second upper tone and this one is the third upper tone right you can see so there are node one node here one node here one node here and then a node here and in between there are anti nodes here also you can see the nodes are almost lambda by 2 apart so this is how we uh, see how the standing waves are formed in a fixed end as well as in a free end there is a superposition of the two waves this is a linear uh, bounded medium that is one dimensional medium and uh, due to the superposition of the incident and the reflected wave there is formation of the standing waves and the nodes and anti nodes will be formed only at some selected uh, frequencies and these frequencies in which the nodes are formed are called the natural frequencies now we shall see or do the analytical treatment on string fixed at other end that is one boundary is rigid and the other is free here you can see this end is fixed end and this end is the free end here this is the incident wave and this is one is the reflected wave and these two waves superimpose and uh, here these are the points which are called nodes where there is no displacement at all at any instant of time or all the times and these are points of maximum displacement and maximum velocity which are called antinodes so we consider a medium in which stationary waves are formed. In this case, we have considered a string in which the stationary waves have been formed. And uh, the equation of displacement for a plane progressive wave we know is uh, y. We take y1 equal to a sin 2 pi by lambda vt minus x where y minus the displacement a is the amplitude and lambda is the wavelength t is the time x is the position and v is the velocity of the wave suppose this is the incident wave and this wave is traveling towards the positive x-axis. We take x equal to 0 at this point. Now on deflection, this wave comes back and towards the travels towards the negative x-axis and then the equation is of displacement y2 is equal to e dash sine 2 pi by lambda vt plus x this is the reflected width now these two superpose to give the resultant width then the resultant displacement y is equal to y1 plus y2 and this is equal to a sine 2 pi by lambda vt minus x plus a dash sine 2 pi by lambda 
dt plus x. Now at y equal to uh, at x equal to 0 here there is no displacement. So at x equal to 0 y equal to 0 that is y equal to 0 at x equal to 0. So using this in the above equation we have 0 equal to a sin 2 pi by lambda vt plus a dash sin 2 pi by lambda vt and this equation gives a dash equal to minus a. So on reflection from the rigid surface that is a fixed surface there is a phase change of pi. which we have already seen in the illustration. Therefore, using this in the above equation, we get y equal to, that is the resultant displacement, equal to a sin 2 pi by lambda vt minus x. In place of a dash, we write minus a minus a sin 2 by pi lambda vt plus x. Now, now using the formula sin c minus sin d equal to 2 cos c minus uh, c plus d by 2 sin c minus d by 2 we have this one y equal to 2a cos uh, 2 pi by lambda C plus d by 2 that is vt minus x plus vt plus x by 2 sin c minus d by 2 that is 2 pi by lambda uh, vt minus x minus vt minus 6 by 2. So we get y equal to from here x x cancels out and from here vt vt cancels out. So we have 2a cos 2 pi by lambda vt and from here sin 2 pi by lambda and minus x so sin minus theta is minus sin theta so there is negative sign here and 2 pi x by lambda or we can write it as y equal to minus 2a sin 2 pi x by lambda cos 2 pi lambda vt. So, this is the resultant displacement for the two superimposing waves. Here, the amplitude A of the resultant wave is minus 2A sin 2 pi x pi lambda and we can see that the resultant wave also has the same uh, time period. Now uh, we shall find out the 
uh, velocity of the particle, the acceleration, etc. from this one. So, this is our equation number one, that is the, uh, the resultant displacement, that is suppose to the amplitude. Now, particle velocity uh, ty by dt. Uh, let us uh, write it here so that I can use it afterwards as well. So, so the particle velocity is uh, from here dy by dt is equal to from here 4 a and pi b by lambda sine 2 pi x by lambda sine 2 pi by lambda pretty and uh, particle acceleration is uh, d2i by dt square and this is equal to 4 into 2 that is 8 a pi square v square by lambda square sin 2 pi x by lambda cos 2 pi by lambda v t and change in pressure p equal to minus k dy by dx we have already studied it where k is the bulk modulus so this is equal to minus k and what is dy by dx from here dy by dx is equal to minus 4 pi 4 pi a by lambda cos 2 pi by lambda x and cos 2 pi by lambda vt. Uh, this is equal to 4 pi a k by lambda cos 2 pi by lambda x cos 2 pi by lambda v t. So let this be question number 3, question number 4 and let this be question number 5. So now let us add them here which we shall be requiring afterwards. So Now in each of them we can see that this the displacement, the amplitude, the particle velocity, the particle acceleration, the change in pressure all depends on the position x and the time t. 
So now uh, changing with respect to position. When sine two pi x by lambda is equal to zero, then obviously cos two pi x by lambda will be equal to plus minus 1, it will have the maximum value. So in this case, the displacement y is equal to 0. The amplitude a is also equal to 0. Now the particle velocity dy by dt, this is also equal to 0. The particle acceleration d2y by dt square is also equal to 0 and the change in pressure P is from here you can see it is maximum. So these are the points where the displacement is 0 are uh, the points which are called nodes here the displacement is 0 and also the particle velocity is 0. Now uh, these points are at the positions where sin 2 pi x by lambda equal to 0 or 2 pi x by lambda is equal to 0 pi 2 pi etc or x is equal to 0 and uh, lambda by 2 2 lambda by, lambda by 2 etc so from here we find that the nodes are separated from each other uh, which are at uh, separation of lambda by 2. Now all particles between two consecutive nodes vibrate in same phase and all the particles between two other consecutive nodes vibrate in the opposite phase. Now case 2 when sine uh, 2 pi x by lambda equal to plus minus 1 and here cos 2 pi x by lambda will be equal to 0. So here the displacement y will be maximum. The amplitude A will be maximum. Now the particle velocity dy by dt is uh, will also be maximum. The particle acceleration d2y by dt square will also be 
maximum. And the pressure variation in this case will be zero. So these are the points which are called the anti nodes. And uh, these are points which are uh, at positions given by 2 pi x by lambda is equal to pi by 2, 3 pi by 2, 5 pi by 2, etc. or uh, x is equal to lambda by 4, 3 lambda by 4, 5 lambda by 4 and so here also, so you find that uh, the antinodes are also separated from each other by uh, half the wavelength that is lambda by 2 and uh, uh, let us write it antinodes are separated from each other by half the wavelength or lambda by 2. So we find that the nodes as well as antinodes are equidistant from each other that is two nodes are equidistant from each other and are separated by lambda by 2 and as well the nodes antinodes are separated from each other by lambda by 2. Now we shall see the change with respect to time. change with respect to time. For sin 2 pi by lambda vt equal to 0, then cos 2 pi by lambda vt will be equal to plus minus 1, that is the maximum value. So, in this case, the displacement y will be maximum from here and uh, velocity particle velocity dy by dt will be uh, zero from here and uh, particle acceleration d2y by dt square will be maximum and uh, the change in pressure P is equal to uh, this will again be from here maximum. Obtain such times we put uh, 2 pi by lambda vt equal to 0 pi 2 pi etc or 2 pi b by lambda is 1 by t so 2 pi by t into t this is the time period is equal to 0 pi 2 pi etc or t equal to 0 and uh, t by 2 2 t by 2 
etc. So we see that uh, for displacement to be maximum, a particle velocity to be zero, acceleration to be maximum, the change in pressure to be maximum, uh, these occur twice in one time period. Now, uh, this one was the case one. Now, case two, when sine 2 pi by lambda vt equal to plus minus 1. In this case, uh, cos 2 pi by lambda vt will obviously be 0. So, uh, in this case, displacement y will be equal to 0. Particle velocity dy by dt will be equal to uh, it will also be equal to it will be maximum and uh, the acceleration d2y by dt square will be uh, since this one is zero so it will be zero and the change in pressure p will be equal to zero from here you can see 2 pi by cos 2 pi by lambda beta is zero so this will be equal to zero so this uh, will be got by putting uh, 2 pi by lambda vt these times will be given by 2 pi by lambda vt is equal to pi by 2 3 pi by 2 5 pi by 2 etc or 2 pi t by t equal to pi by 2 3 pi by 2 5 pi by 2 or t is equal to t by 4 3 t by 4 5t by 4 etc. So we uh, from here also we see that these times occur uh, twice in one time period. Now we shall see the modes of vibration. Now we have already mentioned that not all frequencies will give you the nodes and anti nodes. There are certain selected frequencies which will have uh, nodes which will give you nodes and anti nodes. So uh, while we uh, had one end free and other end fixed, we had the boundary boundary condition as uh, at x equal to zero, the displacement y was equal to zero and let the other end which was the free end be at x equal to length l is at x equal to l where l is the suppose the length of the string so at x equal to l the value of dy by dx will be equal to zero so these are the boundary conditions why dy by dx will be equal to zero because at the free end, the change in pressure P it is equal to minus K dy by dx will be zero as there is no inertia at the free end. So this P will be zero and from here dy by 
dx will be zero. So these are the boundary condition. Now what is the value of dy by dx? Dy by dx is uh, dy by dx is equal to minus four pi a by lambda cos two pi x by lambda cos two pi v t by lambda. So at x equal to l dy by dx is equal to zero. So zero is equal to minus four pi a by lambda cos two pi l by lambda cos two pi v t by lambda, and this must be satisfied at at all the values of time t. That means this cos two pi l by lambda must be equal to zero or cos two pi l by lambda should be equal to zero. Therefore, two pi l by lambda. Should be equal to uh, pi by two, or we can write it equal to two n plus one pi by two, where n equal to zero, one, two, etc. Or from here uh, l is equal to 2n plus 1 lambda by 4 or lambda equal to 4l by 2n plus 1 And we know that uh, frequency nu is equal to uh, v by lambda, or nu is equal to v by lambda. That is v into two n plus one by four. L. So these are the values of the frequency. Now the fundamental frequency will be given by putting n equal to. Zero and nu is equal to v by four l and the next is the first over tone and that is equal to three uh, v by four l. This is the first over tone and the second over tone will be given by five v by For L, so we can see that the uh, the first overtone, the second overtone, etc., are found by odd multiplication of the fundamental frequency. So the first overtone, the second overtone, etc., are odd multiples of the fundamental frequency v by four L. So uh, these are the modes of vibration and this was the analytical treatment for a string which is fixed at one end and free at the other end here we have found that the nodes are the points where the displacement is zero anti nodes are the points where the displacement is maximum and all the other points have intermediate values of displacement uh, Particle velocity, particle acceleration, 
uh, change in pressure etc which are the intermediate values between the values at the nodes and the anti nodes